but how did you get addicted? How, how did, no, I would just do cocaine. That was really, well, yeah. So not that's just, pretty, yeah. That's, and that's it was down good. and that's down and dirty, right? Yeah. And this is, yeah, this, I mean, it was, yeah. I, but you don't anymore. No, I don't do it anymore, man. And I'm not doing is it. Is it too much, too much to handle? Some of the stuff started to get a real rattle in it too. I don't know where it, we were even getting it from in this country, but yeah, it started to make me feel like I was a mechanic or something. So the thing you go back to then is alcohol for the most part. Right. Yeah. But well, I, what I want probably is cocaine, but I know that if I have a drink, then it'll give me, it'll like be like, okay, well I had a drink, then I can do this. Is cocaine a stronger, uh, Oh yeah. Up. Yeah. 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 Cocaine. So, will you, so you're you, way up with cocaine more than anything else you can think cocaine of. Cocaine will turn you into a damn owl, homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll, you'll be, you'll be out on your own porch, you know, yeah. and you'll, you'll be your own street lamp. Oh, Oh my gosh, my favorite comedian and my favorite president of all time did a podcast together. I love being alive today. By the way, guys, subscribe to my channel. I post two new videos every single day. That's right, every single day. Check my last week. I've been consistent with it, guys. Yeah, so Theo Vaughn, my favorite comedian. He's like the only guy I find funny besides my husband. My husband's obviously way funnier, but Theo Vaughn, if you watch him, by the way, guys, like literally just watch like compilation videos of Theo Vaughn. He has the most insane stories ever. He's random in the most hilarious way. I love it. So seeing him have an interview with Donald Trump was amazing. I've seen so many recent interviews of Donald Trump where I'm bored out of my mind. So this was a breath of fresh air to say the least. I'm going to show you guys my favorite clips from that interview and let's just get right to it. I'm going to replay that one in the beginning because I want to show you my reaction because it's that good. It deserves a million replays. How did you get addicted? How, how did? No, I would just do cocaine. That was really, well, yeah. So not just, pretty, yeah. That's, and that's it was down and that's down and dirty, right? Yeah, and this is yeah. This I mean, it was yeah. I, but you don't anymore. No, I don't do it anymore, man. And I'm not doing is it. Is it too much? Too much to handle? Some of the stuff started to get a real rattle in it too. I don't know where it, we were even getting like a rattle. What does that mean? Like a rattlesnake? Getting it from in this country, but yeah, it started to make me feel like I was a mechanic or something. So the thing you go back to a mechanic? What? To then it's that's what I mean by the way when I say Theo Vaughn is so random, like a mechanic. Cocaine made you feel like a mechanic. What does that even mean? Alcohol for the most part. Right. Yeah. But well, I, what I want probably is cocaine, but I know that if I have a drink, then it'll give me, it'll like be like, okay, well I had a drink, then I can do this. Is cocaine a stronger, uh, Oh yeah. Up. Yeah. 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 Cocaine. So, you, so you're way up with cocaine more than anything else you can think cocaine of. Cocaine will turn you into a damn owl, homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It'll, you'll be, you'll be out on your own porch, you know, and yeah. you'll, you'll be your own street lamp. Wow. Oh my gosh, I just love like the mixture of Theo Vaughn's absolute randomness with Trump being like, yeah, yeah, like Trump who's always been sober because his brother died of alcoholism. It's just an amazing marriage of two dichotomies or two like different extremes where both of them are offensive and say crazy things but on opposite spectrums, if that makes sense. Anyways, okay, here we have another clip. This is Trump again on Theo Vaughn. Trump says, we had the greatest economy in history. And Theo Vaughn goes, oh, yeah, my cousin got a boat. This is, again, like the best part about Theo Vaughn is how random the things he says are. Great time. We had the greatest economy in history when I was president. We had oh, yeah. My cousin got a boat. Numbers. Yeah, we had the best job numbers. African-American. But okay, the annoying thing about Trump is he doesn't even acknowledge what Theo Vaughn says. He just keeps going with the same speech. The greatest economy ever, lowest black unemployment, blah, 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 that no one cares about. Literally, black people don't care about it. The Democrats don't care about it. Waste the time of ener time and energy, if you are asking for my humble opinion. Anyways, let's just continue. But Theo Vaughn, of course, has to repeat himself to try to, like, overtake or just make the point as Donald Trump is continuing to state the lines, the script, and I like Trump, but I don't like this scripted side of him. I, I can't help but say that that's just how I feel. American, Hispanic American, if you look, Asian American, job numbers, women, men, everybody. We did a, we did a lot of good things. We cut, we cut taxes more than anybody else, including Ronald Reagan. We uh, cut regulations, which created jobs. We had a great period of time, and I think the people want it back. Based on what I'm seeing, the people want great time we had the great yeah i mean i just love the fact that theo bomb was like yeah my cousin got a got a boat that's 
it's funny, right? Okay, last clip I wanna show you guys. This one's a longer. They kinda of talk about Bernie Sanders, which is interesting. I wanted to see what you guys thought about it. One thing that you did, um, recently we had Bernie Sanders on. Right. And- Interesting. I, and I know- Interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. That's funny. Certainly, um, you guys don't agree on a lot of things, but uh, I think you both acknowledge how horribly rigged the healthcare system is against the American people. Um, because hospitals and insurance companies get away with hiding their prices from all of us and literally they can charge whatever they want. You know, it's like you sign up and say, yes, I'll pay. You trust the hospital, but then you get home and the bill is, it's whatever, you know, which pretty much feels like some form of, of extortion to me. That's what it seems like. Precisely. Like to me. It's a form. Yeah. Uh, but you had an executive order where you created a federal rule uh, forcing hospitals and insurers to publish all their prices, Yep. right? So that people would be able to know, okay, if an MRI costs $600 here and it's $5,000 yep. there, then I can go here and save myself money. Right. But that hasn't even been enforced. Like um, hospitals- Biden, Biden got away with it. Hospitals and insurance companies, they're not in, they're still not showing their prices. They hated it. Of course they did. And because it would would have made it very competitive and Biden let it go. He did. He never enforced it. And to get that approved was a big deal. And that would have brought down the price of, of you know. Oh, so many things. Not only, you know, just care, right? Care, physical care, mental care. That would have brought down the the cost of care by 50, 60%. And Biden and Kamala didn't press it. It was a big thing to get it, but I'll be pressing it. And because you I'll will be, be pressing it, yeah. And because I'll be pressing it, there are some people that are vehemently against it for financial reasons, you know, for money reasons. But those I'll people be can go to hell, dude. That's insane. Yeah, no, they you know, bad people. Especially because one of the leading causes of bankruptcy in America is medical debt. I yeah. mean, it's well, that's crazy. It's pretty and crazy. I don't even think I made that up either. No, it's uh, <laughs> when you think of it. That's what I love about the Obama, and I don't even think I made that up either. It's hilarious. At first, when you said it, I said, wow. And then I'm thinking about it. I'm saying, it's really not a wow. It's, I understand yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, tremendous lobby, tremendous, powerful lobby. Well, yeah, because, I mean, think about what else is going to put you in medical, like, in, in that much of a debt. It's like, I think that's, I believe that that's accurate. Um, who's, behind, who's behind the healthcare insurance, that whole thing? Like, who's behind it all? It, it feels like Chuck Schumer is this kind of, like, deviant mastermind back yeah. there somewhere. Well, he's one of the people that is hurt and he's one of the people that keeps the prices high. And he's, you know, gets a lot of contributions from the people on the other side. Uh, yeah, and him and plenty of other people, a lot of people. It's a very powerful lobby. But wouldn't they, why you know do the they want the most powerful people? lobby? The lawyer lobby. That's, oh, that's yeah. the, And that feeds into that also, you know, it all feeds into it. Wait, and, hold on, just so I understand, Donald, sorry. Um, So, that uh, that lobby is a very powerful one. Yeah. But why do those people want people to suffer though? Just so they can make money? Yeah. Wow, I mean that, you know, I gave you a couple funny clips in the beginning, but that last one I feel like was a very serious one that I feel like everyone in America, like the middleman in America could really just relate to. But yeah, I mean, that's one of my biggest criticisms within America is the healthcare system, how we cannot see the prices of things when we buy them. It's like, they'll just send you a fat bill after you go to the hospital. It's like, okay, I did not know that if I accepted this treatment that my doctor said I had to get, it would cost all of this money, right? It is ridiculous, the healthcare system in America. But that's besides the point. I really enjoyed this interview. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below and I will see you next time. Thank you.